What's up, guys? It's your motivational gamer, and welcome <laughs> to the only game you'll ever need to fulfill your summoner's one needs. Now, let me explain to you guys what I mean by that. So, there's this game that came out. It's called War of Crown. The game that I'm playing right now. I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna get into some stuff here. I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion about this game. Um, I mean, I've been like literally just came out tonight about seven hours ago. I've been playing the whole the whole game since. But this game is the ultimate companion game to Summoner's War. So like, so keep, occupy your time when you're busy. You know, doing your thing here. Let me put my difficulty back to normal here. I want to show you guys some of the stuff. Um, but it'll absolutely, absolutely occupy your time uh, when you're farming hours and hours and hours and hours, and you guys are looking for something to do. So let me tell you a little bit about this game. So this game was made by Game Evil. Okay, but Game Evil was basically come to us a couple of years ago. Game Evil and come to us partnered. Um, and they've been making games together ever since. It's basically another Summoner's War, okay? So this game is like a real-time RTS strategy with a built-in story mode. You've got PvP arena, just like Summoner's War, and you have monsters that you can summon, okay? Um, from one star to six star. If you basically took Summoner's War, turned it into a strategy game, added insane combat animations, uh, Korean voiceovers or English voiceovers, whatever you like, a dope-ass story, and <laughs> from what I've experienced, a really, really good time, then you get this game called War of Crown. Um, I just wanted to take a little bit so you guys can see these insane uh, summon animations or skill animations. Because this is legitimately what drew me to the game first. Um, so after that, I was like, okay, the skill animations are crazy. Let me look at the monster roster and see if the monsters look cool. And for the first time, what they've done is the monsters that are four star and above actually have different skills and they actually have a different appearance. They share similar qualities, but they actually look different. So you're not running around with a bunch of dupe monsters. Now the monsters three star and below pretty much all look the same, they share kind of similar skills, but they still have different skill kits, right? Does that make sense? And like all of the four stars and above have their own like epic skills that they can do with different skills. And get this, there's a story mode, which I mentioned before, that actually allows you to immerse yourself into the story of the game and find out what's going on. And like I said, so as I'm farming Summoner's War all day long and doing my thing, I'm just going to be playing this on side. So don't be surprised if you guys see videos of this as well. Um, again, this is another come to us, hashtag Game Evil Game. So if you guys haven't had the chance to check out War of Crown, it literally just came out on the App Store. And my rating for this would absolutely be a 9 out of 10, okay? Why is it only a 9 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of a 10? Because there's still some localization issues. Uh, meaning there's still some chat issues and text issues uh, where the language isn't transparent through. There's still some minor glitches and bugs uh, that they still have to work out. But other than that, this game is absolutely mind-blowing amazing. We were running it on stream. If you were just coming in left and right, it was like, yo, TMG, what is this game? I gotta have it. And we've been playing it literally nonstop since it came out. So if you guys are looking for a game to kind of play on side uh, of Summoner's War as you guys are farming endlessly, look no further because this is the game that you guys are looking for. I'm going to farm it a lot. I'm still debating if, I get, if I'm going to do guide videos on this, but definitely check out the game, play it out. If this is something that you guys would like to see more content on, uh, definitely let me know. By no means is Summoner going anywhere. I just finished my homunculus and we still got a ton of work, a ton of people I got to kill. I still got to get G3, uh, but now I have my, my Summoner's War companion app that we're going to be playing. Um, before we bring this video to a close, let me show you guys some of the features here uh, that you guys can do. Uh, so you got arena, okay, which is full-time arena where you actually have to strategize. Things like how high your archers are sitting determine how much damage you deal. Uh, where your units are positioned. where What kind of skill kits or skill combos you're using. Um, like it's really, really in depth. Like I mentioned, the story mode that you follow here, uh, you actually have dungeons, you got adventure mode for farming and stuff. Um, and then you actually have a unique thing that they introduced called, uh, bounties. Um, but basically how the bounties work is there's these giant boss monsters that you find. Okay, where they at under the wanted category and these boss monsters you find you hunt and if you're able to capture them um, you can turn them in for rewards. Uh, the equipment and stuff is just like on a grading scale. Just think of these as your runes kind of for Summoner's War. Um, but you can get equipment and this is these are how you upgrade your heroes. You know, typical uh, mobile, mobile game stuff. Um, you can do summons, of course, just like anything else. They have a pretty legit roster here. Let me show you guys the roster and the codex. Um, but, you know, they have all the different element types. And this is what I mean here. So you guys can see here, these are all the fire heroes, right, that you guys can see. 
But if you change the elements, you'll notice that there's slight changes, like the hairstyle's different. They have shields. If you switch over here to win, uh, we have different hairstyles, different patterns, different designs, different skills. Um, so this is how the game evolves, especially as you guys move forward in the game. So uh, this game absolutely deserves your absolute attention. So make sure if you guys get a chance to check out War of Crown and let me know what you guys think. And again, if you guys want to see more content on War of Crown, definitely let me know. And I, I will be absolutely more than thrilled to deliver content on this game. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. So excited to share this product with you. Um, and uh, let me know what you guys think. With that being said, love y'all. Y'all have a nice night. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.